right, people. We got a new project going on. So, y'all remember how your girl was uh, out here dragging all that water around? I am going to mitigate some of that. Uh, I can't say I'm going to completely just stop. Uh, stop dragging water, but I'm not going to drag it as much. Let's put it that way. Let me see. Can y'all see? Y'all don't mind my little iron, my little rusty little pole there. I'm going to paint that. Don't, don't mind that. And this ain't a Lowe's advertisement either. Okay? I don't hear nobody's mouth. Okay, so what we're doing is we're going to put a submersible pump in this uh, rain barrel. So, I don't want to put this too, too high, but I don't want to put it too low either. And, um... So, I just use the one inch hole saw a uh, bit. If you ain't got one of them, you can use, uh, they got several different bits, but let me show y'all what you're really just trying to do. Okay, y'all, so. I bought me this spigot on uh, Amazon, but it's not. It's it's got a it's got a bulkhead fitting with it. So you can see that's the bulkhead fitting, and that's the actual spigot. This is a half inch. If you're wondering what size it is, and I'm gonna tell you why that's important in a minute. But um, this little spigot I bought even came with a uh, Teflon tape. It came with pretty much everything you need to install it on your rain barrel to basically put a spigot on your rain barrel so you want to drill your hole as close to that size as possible now that's not going in that easily which that's what I want I don't want it to go in there easily I want it to be kind of hard to put in there it also came with these washers I just happen to have them in my pocket and the washer should seal up on the outside so you want to push that in you want that to be fairly tight get your other washer and then let me see if I can film. I don't know if I can film this, but can y'all see down in there? See the bulkhead sticking through? Let me see. I don't know if I'm gonna be able to get this on film or not. Is my arms long enough? Maybe. <laughs> what you wanna do is put that other wash in there. I'll see it in there now, so you want it flat, flush up against that other side of that plastic. And you can put this bulkhead fit in any direction that you want. Spin that on. I'm probably going to end up getting a wrench because I don't think hand tight is going to be tight enough to be watertight. I don't think. Uh, I might put some water in there and check and see see if I got any leaks. So you see what I did there. So I put that on. Now, let's show y'all the outside. Okay? So that's what you got on the outside. Now that's why, in my opinion, it's good to use garbage barrels because you actually can reach in there real easy. And other stuff you can't really reach in that easy. I just got a two pair of channel lock pliers. You can use any kind of whatever you want to use to tighten this stuff. So I'm just tightening this from the inside. And the 
outside is not good. That means it's tightening up, okay? All right, y'all, so that, that should be watertight. We're going to pray that it is. If it ain't, we can tighten it up some more. But like I said, one wash on the outside, one wash on the inside. Okay. Then what we're going to do is we're going to put some Teflon tape on this. If this spigot ever starts to leak, uh... And this, like I said, this spigot came. I got this on Amazon. I think it was 16 bucks. But I'm going to be honest. I Really, you don't need to buy, pay that kind of money for this kind of spigot. Let me see. Which way am I spinning this on? There's a certain way you want to put Teflon tape on so that it don't, uh, so that it don't come off as you spin it on. So you want to put it on counterclockwise, if I'm not mistaken. And if, if I'm mistaken, let me see. Yeah, I'm going counterclockwise. Yeah, because the clock goes the opposite direction. This way, when you spin this on, you're not just like spinning your Teflon tape right off. And I'm going to be honest. I'm probably going to use all of this little Teflon tape on this roll. Yeah, because it's not that much on here, and I want to make sure it don't leak. Because if it leak, I gotta drain this thing and then put a uh, put pipe dope on it. So I don't want to have to go through all that. Iris is at the door acting like a plum idiot. All right, so see how when I spin it on, the Teflon tape don't come off. Okay. I'm gonna spin this on. Try to get it one more revolution. So that thing is plenty. Yeah, I just did that by hand. And by the way, you can put that bouquet fitting either way you want to put it. If you want to put this part to the inside, you can. And it'll still work. You still can screw this on. So, um, let's leak test. Actually, yeah, let's leak test. No, let's not leak test. Because let me show y'all what I got that's going to make this be a little easy. So, I got me a submersible pump here. And um, this, this, it's got a stand and stuff with it. But I need to change the plug on it. I got this pump. And for some reason, the um, plug is acting very strange. And uh, I didn't know why. Well, actually, the pump. The pump would cut on and off, and it wouldn't stay on. And it kept one of those ground fault circuit things on it. And I couldn't figure out why. And this is just a temporary plug, y'all. That I got on here. Um, let me wait. Let me see if I can put y'all at a more advantageous. Alright, y'all ought to be able to see that. So this is just a temporary plug I put on here that I had off of something else. So I'm gonna take this off because this is not. If I can take it off. I can take it off. I got because I need a better screwdriver. Yeah, the pump was acting crazy. I couldn't figure out why. Why? <clears throat> and um, I had a uh, temporary plug that I put on here. I knew this plug was not going to stay on here because this plug actually goes to something else. That I have. You know, if you cut the end of a cord off, 
don't always throw your stuff away because um got this new GFCI plug because you want a GFCI plug because you're dealing with water wet stuff so you want this thing to you want the circuit to break if something malfunctions inside you don't want to just be running this and um and a circuit don't cut off if something malfunctions because you don't want nobody to get electrocuted we all want to uh, be safe so this is what I purchased on Amazon and as you can see it's got a reset and test on it it's just like the plug that was on it but the plug that was on it for some reason had a uh, malfunction so I'm not gonna take this piece off because this piece is just like the little piece that comes in a kit it's exactly the same so I'm gonna leave that but what you want to do is you got green silver and gold green is for your ground you want to put that in there it's gonna sit in here like this so, let's see here. You just basically want to get them situated to where your silver is going to go to your white, and your black is going to go to the gold one or the brass colored one. You want to put all of those under the little screws that go under, like that. Then you want to take your screwdriver and tighten down on these screws and tighten down on the wires. And you want that to be snug. So I'm going to um, tighten down on these first. And then I'm going to come back and tighten them, tighten them all the way down. Now this ground one, you want to make sure that's all the way up in there. You want to make sure wires are all the way up in there where they're supposed to be. See, now that I don't have to hold that wire, now I can tighten down on this, on this screw. Okie dokie. Smoke it. So, want to line that up because that actually makes everything watertight. Then you want to get your little rubber thing lined up where it sits down in there. And you'll see how it's supposed to sit down in there. There. I just had to pull it back a little bit. And then you can see how see how that sits in there. Now if you're if your wire you cut all these off and it, it the kit comes with that. So but like I said. Mine already had it on here because it had a plug just like this. But it um the plug wasn't, it was not functioning. It was something wrong with it on the inside. I'm not sure what. I didn't open it all the way up to see. I didn't really care, but you see the kit comes with um this is for different wire diameters, I guess. It comes with three of those. And it comes with all the screws you need to screw everything down. It comes with the screws. And uh, this is probably a strain relief thingy. Yeah. So here they want you to put this over this for strain relief. So and I'm going to need another screwdriver. Just when you think you got all your tools, get some more. So, like I was saying, strain relief. All these screws are the same length so it's probably gonna be kind of cumbersome trying to hold this So these are the kind of screws that uh they go into plastic. Yeah, this is fabulous. Absolutely fabulous. The little rubber is misbehaving. That I had 
gotten in place previously. Alright, so wait a minute. How about we just screw these down first? and get this here together. Alright, we got that like that. Now we're going to put this on, which is the cover. Once you get that situated right, you cover the slide right in place. You got four more screws. All righty then. Then we tighten these up. Once again, these are the kind of screws that kind of just make their own threads in the plastic. They ain't got to be super tight, just okay. About to say, I'll start playing these games. Yeah. So, we got our plug finished. Alright, y'all. So, we got a small snafu. So, I bought this here. This is part of a kit to connect rain barrels together. You get this hose, and then you get two bulkhead fittings, like what I put on there. And I was going to take this hose and put it inside the rain barrel. Let me show you. I was going to put this inside here and screw it on there and hook the pump to it. So you have a short little hose and you hook the pump to it. Which, take, I can't do that. I might do that for a test run. But here's the problem. It might reach. I don't know. Probably not. So, here's the pump. Put it down in here. I don't think my hose is going to reach that. Y'all see what I'm saying? Hose is too short. So, for test purposes. For test purposes, I laid the pump over. Y'all see it ain't on top of the... Uh, the stand that it's supposed to be in. Y'all tell me why in the world would I not use rainwater to fill this bar?
Okay, I should turn off the spigot. But it is holding, y'all. No leaks. No leaks. It's holding. I had the spigot turned on at first, though. Y'all make sure you have the spigot turned off. <laughs> Okay, so let me show y'all. See how the screen caught all them leaves and stuff? And, and I was taking it out of this rain barrel right here. This rain barrel right here. I'm about to move. Ooh, look at that big old worm right there. Y'all see him? Uh-uh, come here. Come to mommy. No, 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 don't wiggle. Don't wiggle. Look at him. Wiggling away from me. Throw them in the bed over there. That's where it belongs. Okay, y'all. So, my, I'm going to put the one I just did right here. So, take All right, got the water hose on. Watch. Y'all watch and tell me if any water come out. got water people so I am now pumping water from my rain barrels so this will cut down now that the flow ain't all that great uh, but that pump ain't the strongest pump in the world but I'll be able to water without having to uh, tote a million things of water if I don't want to I'll probably still hand carry some water because I'm just I like to stay active because it's when you stop being active that you actually get out of shape. Because I hate to tell you, if you're severely out of shape right now, diet is not going to make you get into shape. The only way you can get in shape is by moving. And if I just lay this son of a gun down, it just waters where I want it to water on its own. Anyway, anyway, I'm going to keep watering y'all. But I wanted to show y'all that if you wanted to put a spigot, I have trucks. If you want to put a spigot on your rain barrels, if you want to hook up a uh, submersible pump, you can get submersible pumps a little bit everywhere. You can get them at Harbor Freight, Walmart, Lowe's, Home Depot. You can get them at all these places. So, um, just want to show y'all how I did that. And uh, I'm going to get the rest of the water out of that barrel, get all the leaves and stuff out the bottom of it, put it in the other one uh, before I pump all the water out of my barrels. And, um, yeah, continue on in the garden because I got some more stuff to do. So uh, I hope y'all enjoyed that. Thanks for watching. Till next time, see you guys later.